Hey everybody, welcome to Bob Key TV. Well, in the news, in the anti-doping news, Bobby Lee, um, winner of the points race at the National Track Championships, the United States National Track Championships last summer, uh, gave a positive uh, sample for oxycodone at uh, the National Track Championships, was given a 16-month suspension, uh, admitted to using oxycodone, um, saying that he had run out of his normal sleep aid and uh, he used oxycodone to help him sleep the night before the National Track Points Race Championships and uh, forgot that oxycodone, a narcotic opiate, <laughs> a prescription strength painkiller was on the banned substance list. Forgot about that. Um, court of Arbitration for Sport reduced Bobby Lee's ban to six months, making him eligible uh, to go through the trials process and perhaps, if he qualifies, race in the Rio Olympic Games, which would be his third Olympic Games. A um, couple of questions that I have about this. On what grounds was the ban reduced that was not mentioned uh, by CAS? And that could be uh, could clear everything up, but they didn't say why they reduced his ban. And uh, but m more troubling is if you finish second, if you were second place to Bobby Lee in those national points race championships, and you found out Bobby Lee was doping, and his ban is six months, and he gets to start racing pretty much in a few days from now and perhaps qualify for the Olympic team, what incentive, what incentive do you have to race clean? Why race clean when the guy that beats you, who is on drugs, gets a slap on the wrist? Uh, so USA Cycling needs to ask itself, how serious are they about anti-doping? And is it just lip service to protect their image and to protect their sponsor's image? or are they truly serious about anti-doping? And if they are, what are the penalties going to be? Those are my two questions. So uh, if you're from the Court of Arbitration and Sport, please feel free to comment. <laughs> and if you're from U.S. Cycling, I would love to hear from you about Bobby Lee's six-month suspension for oxycodone. Uh, thanks, everybody, for your comments and your subscriptions. I need those to keep going. And if you like these, press like. Thanks a lot. Well, I've got further proof that the UCI does not care about rider safety. Tour of La Provence, stage number two. Let's take a gander going into 100 yards to go. 100 yards to go. 100 meters from the finish line.